guys what is up welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be sharing with you all a very exciting video I'm gonna be doing a review on the brand new Fenty Beauty by Rihanna foundation I'm also gonna be doing a wear test with this just to see how it turns out throughout the day I was a little bit skeptical to get this foundation at first I really 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 wanted to try it just because, you know, you never really know with reviews how they are. I saw Jeffrey's video on it. His skin looked amazing after he applied it. So I feel like, I felt like from that video I would like it. And then I watched a couple other videos and people said that they didn't really like it. So I was kind of on the fence about getting it. But I have been looking for it everywhere and it looks like it's sold out in most Sephora's now. But I finally found a Sephora that had it. And I picked up what I thought would be my shade which is 190. So yeah, I just really wanted to do a, this is going to be a first impressions on this foundation. I've never tried it before. I only swatched it on the back of my hand. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me and also subscribe to my channel down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so like I mentioned, I picked up the shade 190. It's a more neutral toned shade. And honestly, I love the packaging on these. They're so pretty and I love how it has a pump. So I already went ahead and primed my face with my favorite primer. It's the um, Illuminator Primer from Estee Lauder. Love this stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation one side with a beauty sponge and one side with a brush. I think I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. Okay, now that we are up close and personal, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. So first, I'm just going to go on this side of my face with a Clinique brush. I know this brush is dirty, but I didn't have time to clean it, so it's going to have to do. I love this brush so much, so I know that you know, it's not going to be the brush's fault if the foundation doesn't work. On the other side of my face, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. Okay, so let's just dive in. Ooh, I feel like it's very liquidy. Okay, so that's two pumps. I don't think that's enough for my face, so I'm just going to do a little bit more, like half a pump. I put a little bit more foundation on this side, so I'm going to go with a brush on this side because it's going to spread it more far. Oh yeah, I got a pretty good match for myself. Mm, I can notice it's starting to like tingle around my nose area like it's burning. Mmm, it kind of hurts. But I like how it's looking on my skin so far. It's kind of had a weird smell to it. And it definitely isn't full, full coverage. Like I'm noticing right here where I have some discoloration. It's kind of okay. Like I feel like I'll have to go in with some more. But. Oh my gosh, I have to blow this out because it's driving me crazy. It burns. Like whenever it's all bunched up, it burned my nose. That's better now. It's never exactly happened with foundation before. Sometimes concealer can burn my nose, like if I don't blend it out right away. But never with foundations. Okay, so definitely on the beauty blender side, I'm gonna have to go in and touch that area up a little bit. But I actually really like how it looks on my skin. I'm just going to go in with my brush and kind of build it up there. It looks really nice on the skin. And I got a perfect color match. Like, do you guys see? You don't even see, like, a line or anything. Like, it's spot on. I like that a lot. So a lot of the times I'll have to mix foundations to get my perfect match. It does have a weird smell, though. It smells kind of florally, if that makes sense. Like, can a foundation smell florally? I don't know. This smells weird though. Comment down below if you guys feel the same way. Like, if have you tried this foundation? Does it smell weird to you? Is it just mine? I don't know. Let me know. Alright, and then for concealer, I am going to go in with my NARS. 
colors. What is this one? I think this is just a cream, creamy radiant concealer. But this is in Light One Chantilly. Oh yeah, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. That's what that's called. <laughs> but first, I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Cushion. This is just a color corrector. I like to correct my dark areas. And I don't even blend that out, honestly. I just go right over top of it with the concealer and then I blend everything out. This foundation looks really nice on my skin though and I don't notice it oxidizing at all, so that's a plus. Oh no. Kind of broke up on my nose a little bit there, but that happens sometimes with certain foundations, but I just go back in and buff it out with a brush. So not a total loss there and I didn't do it on that side. Usually that only happens though whenever my beauty blender is just a little bit too damp, which it's barely damp at all right now. Okay, so I fixed it there. Alright, so it works well with other products as you can tell. So far I'm really, 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 really liking this. Okay, now to set my under eyes, I'm just going to take this e.l.f. powder and soft luminance. I love this stuff, especially when I'm not going to do any kind of shadow or anything on the eye. It just brings so much brightness to the skin without being like overly glittery. It does have a little glitter in it, so if you're scared of that, I would say you probably won't like this, but I don't mind it. All right, and then I think I am going to powder just a little bit. I'm just going to powder my cheek area. So I'm going to go in with the powder that I always use, which is just the Clinique Loose Powder in Transparency 3. And I'm just going to set my cheek and forehead area because I'm afraid with this being like kind of a matte foundation that it'll dry out this area right here because I do tend to get a little bit drier underneath of my nose and then on my chin. So we're just going to set the areas that we're going to apply powder products. And I'm working tonight, so this is like perfect opportunity to really test the wear on this foundation because I'll be out until like 9, 15, 9.30, something like that. And right now, it's like 11.30, so I'll have this on for like 9 plus hours. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup off of camera, and then I'll be right back to let you guys know my final thoughts on how everything blended and all of that. Okay guys, I'm back. I have completely finished my makeup. I just went for like a very natural look. This is like my everyday makeup look. I really like how the foundation mixed with everything. Like the bronzer looks great. The highlight looks great. Blush is on point. I actually really like how this is making my skin look too. It's like oh, airbrushed. So I'm about to go to work in about 50 minutes. So we're going to see. I'm going to do check-ins throughout the day. I am going to try to come home during my lunch break so I can kind of check in with you guys. But if not, my check-in will be after work tonight whenever I get off. So I'll let you guys know how it is. Okay guys, so I am back now. I just got back from work and honestly, I really like how the foundation is looking still. I did notice that it did crease just a little bit in my smile lines. I've had this foundation on for now nine and a half hours. As you can see, it's 9.29 there. And it actually held up really, really nicely. I love the finish of it. It looks so airbrushed and natural on the skin. I was getting so many compliments saying my makeup looked really good um, while I was at work. So yeah, I so far really like this foundation. I give it two thumbs up. And actually, it didn't really crease as bad in my lines as normal foundations do. Like normally I have a big issue with that. But I don't really mind how it's looking. I'm sure if I patted this out a little bit, it'd be perfectly fine. So yeah, I really like this foundation a lot. I wouldn't say I'm completely obsessed with it yet. It still hasn't taken my Estee Lauder Double Wear's number one spot yet. So we'll see um, how I continue to like it. Uh, the more that I use it, I will be continuing to use it. And if 
it's good you'll you might see it in an upcoming favorites video so i hope you all enjoyed watching this review of the foundation and i definitely approve it if you like it if you want to get it if you've been on the fence about getting it go get it you will definitely like it it's worth the 34 dollars, which isn't unreasonable for a foundation when you think about it so yeah i hope you all enjoyed watching and i will catch you guys in my next video bye